Hi everybody, Cameron Wong, TV personality and proud UW alum. The Office of Minority Affairs and Diversity and the Friends of the Educational Opportunity Program are pleased to present the 44th Annual Celebration and Honors. Today, we are celebrating the outstanding achievements of our students. Oh, you know I love the ELP scholars every year. Every year we get to choose just an amazing group of students who are leaders in their own fields, um, who have come to the University of Washington with great dreams and hopes, and they're getting that education to make those dreams come true. This year's uh, group of students are no exception to that rule. They are the cream of the crop. They are committed to their communities. They're committed to their own education, so they are committed to educational excellence, um, their own academic excellence. And then they want to use that to go back into their communities, to go out into the world and make a difference. To be the Lydia Gonzalez Celebration Award recipient means a lot. It means that a new door is open for me. And more than that, it means that my little brother is also going to have more doors open to him because out of four children, I'm the third, but I am the first to graduate high school to come to college. And before then, my family didn't believe that any of us would make it to college. And the fact that I'm here doing all of these amazing things and letting him know about it, he's at home saying, oh, I'm going to be even better than my sister now. And that's all I could ever really ask for. And so it just means that the possibilities are endless. And the University of Washington has so many opportunities that I can now take advantage of. I first came into this country um, as an undocumented citizen. Um, and I was always told pretty much every day that I was going to do anything with my life. Um, I was told that I was going to learn English. I was told that I wasn't going to um, become, that I was going to become nothing. Um, and so being an EOP scholar means that all the work that I put in into school, into myself, is, is being paid off. And it's not just about me. It means that my entire family is being recognized too because the work that they did for me, um, my mom working extra hours so that I could go to college, um, my parents supporting me, my brothers supporting me, um, it, it means that they get recognized too. And, and I love to be able to provide that for them. First of all, it's an honor and a privilege to receiving, to receiving this award. I, I am now provided with the resources that can help me overcome obstacles that are in my way of reaching my goals, are in the way of me being a useful member of society, are in the way of me having meaning and purpose. And I've gone to school through homelessness, through newly sober, I'm a recovering heroin and cocaine addict. And walking forward meant walking away from my past meant walking toward something worth living because everything I was living for before that was worth dying. And um, I don't want to be that way anymore. So when everything tells me to stop walking, I don't. I am co-founding a nonprofit organization. Um, we are doing a children's book series in support of children from LGBTQ couples, um, single parents and adoption families. Um, in my life, it was almost impossible for me to consider college a few years ago. At the age of 17, I come to the United States from China. Um, when I turned 18, my, my mom and stepdad disowned me because of my LGBTQ self-identification. Um, I was disowned. College was even made less attainable. I grew up on the reservation. I was placed in tribal foster care when I was about two years old, my sister and I. And for anybody who doesn't know, life on the reservation is not easy, um, especially bouncing around to different homes and the emotional stress that comes with that. So I am a volunteer and a member of the Recovery Cafe. Uh, this is a place for, that promotes recovery in all forms. So drugs and alcohol is one facet of that, but also recovering from trauma, recovering from any sort of addictions, recovering just from life in general, um, kind of the difficulty that life can be sometimes. For me, being an EOP scholar will be life-changing. Uh, my particular scholarship is going to be for a study abroad program uh, exploring identities, the Sankofa experience in Ghana, Africa, and I say life-changing because something like this is so far from what I ever imagined would be possible in my life. I'd like to say thank you that 
I believe that everybody plays a role in social justice and some of us as students might be very active and university professors might be supervisors but uh, your job has been just as critical providing us funds and providing us the resources to continue our education and ultimately it's about continuing our education and making a difference and you guys have helped us out with that so thank you. Thank you for everyone who donates every single year to make my dream and all of our dreams come true. It's an honor and privilege to be receiving this award. Thank you. I'm very grateful for this opportunity and I'm very honored and uh, thank you very much for allowing this to happen for me. Thank you very much. Gracias, thank you, and see you soon. Thank you for this honor and award on behalf of myself and my family. Gracias. Thank you and muchas gracias. Thank you. I want to say thank you in my native language of Vietnamese. Gamong. Kaishia. Thank you for your support. Thank you for empowering me to become the change I wish to see in society. Thank you very much. Fei Chang Gansian.